Uh, here I was turning some inside bores on some cast iron wheels. Got the job done, changing back to a three-jaw chuck from the four jaw. While I had it broke down there, I think, you know, I ought to check the center line on this old. It's a Grizzly. Uh, G9972Z is the model. And, 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 uh, well, the, the center line is, is, uh, seems to be of, of, uh, well, it's, 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 it's of great importance when you're working with a lay, the center line between your step, uh, Tail stock and headstock, the center line of those two points is quite important. Uh, the quick check, and you know, you can you can get the laser out, you can get the dial indicator. You know, you, there is uh, several ways to check this right here. But let's go old school. And I did go ahead and adjust this lathe when when I first got it. It's been a long time ago, and I have made many, 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 many cuts between then and now. And no adjustments has been made today. I just throw these centers in here to see if it was still in alignment. So uh, what I'm going to do is, uh, and what I've done is I cleaned them, I cleaned them bores out in there, and and I shoved them, I shoved that dead center up in yonder, and I cleaned this out and shoved that up in there good and tight. And uh, I'm gonna run that. I'm gonna run the quill out there about one inch, and and I'm going to just kind of snug up on that up on that locker, not tight, just a good snug. And I, and I'm going to run this up there to about uh, that's about an eighth of an inch right there. And I'm going to lock. I'm going to lock the tailstock to the lathe. Uh, the way I do it, the, you got that eighth inch right there, and you take your six inch. That's just a normal old six inch ruler. You put that right in there, and you bring that. You bring your tailstock up to the, 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 the dead center here. That dead center there. You bring those two together with enough force to capture your six inch ruler. And they may be some camera angles to take in consideration here, but if you was on site, that ruler will actually be standing exactly straight up and down. If you put the other measurements on the lathe, it, it is, it is, it's, it's straight up and down. Uh, you know, you could say it was in plumb. It's true enough for me. Uh, you know, a half a thousandths on a Sureline lathe is the same thing as a half a thousandths on a Bridgeport, South Bend, uh, Harbor Freight. A half a thousandths is a half a thousandths. It don't matter what kind of lathe you own. Uh, we got it up here like that. You say, well, that's, you know, well and well and true. What about, what about if, if, if this center down here is higher or lower than this center up here, what 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 if they are not in true? Okay, to that that's this one, this measurement here. Okay, what about if they are not in true this way? Okay, what you do is you put your ruler right in here like this right here, and capture it right there. And when you look at that right there, captured in midair, it's it's true. All of the measurements are true. Old school. We have we have no. Uh, there, this is not resting on anything. It's not resting on anything out there. It's just captured in midair. And if you do the, do do the measurements from from any any turning angle or any any kind of measurements you need to make, then it's within it's within let's say a thousandths at least or less. It's good enough for here on the east coast of Arkansas. Now let's set that in free. <laughs> Fun in the backyard shop. Let's get on with the show. I hear that 6.30 eastbound train. Uh, it's time to get this show on the road.